Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be checking out more of the God of War Ragnarok trailers. Now, as the game comes closer to releasing in November, they're releasing some of the combat and enemies. So we're going to be checking that out right now. So hopefully it's fun. It's going to be good. You're definitely going to see me playing that. So if you want to catch me streaming, it's going to be on Lex uh, underscore TV on Twitch. That would be amazing if you could hit me with the follow button. Also subscribe here because it's going to be uploaded to this channel and it's going to be amazing if we can get you know more subs and more likes and all that good stuff but without further ado let's check out this trailer let's see what's going on here from a combat perspective i always and i still feel like the meat and potatoes of any god of war game is combat the meat and potatoes is combat that's pretty fun Oh my god, here we go, dude. I'm so excited. My name is uh, Roberto Clemente, uh, and all my friends call me Bert. Uh, I'm a senior combat animator here at Sony Santa Monica. My name is Kim Nguyen, and I'm a gameplay animator. Hi, I'm Sabra, and I'm a senior VFX artist on God of War Ragnarok. My name is Grace Pan, and I'm a gameplay animator in God of War Ragnarok. Hi, I'm Steven Ohio with GBA, combat designer on God of War. And I create interesting and memorable oh, that's creatures be sick, that players charge. like to attack and defend against. As an animator, you gave life to characters. You make them move, you gave them personalities, you gave them- See, like the first uh, God of War that came out, God of War, the remade or whatever. The combat was really fun, actually. It got me invested a lot, and it was like, you could add a lot of combos with different weapons and different abilities that they had. Like, it was really fun, especially using Atreus to like keep the enemies in the air and stuff like that. So I wonder how they're kind of going to evolve and, you know, put more into it and hopefully have kind of the same things that happened in the first game as well. And how is Atreus going to help here? Is he still going to be just throwing arrows or how are they going to evolve his gameplay? So hopefully they tell us right now. My role as a VFX artist is to put the power behind a move. You are in control of fire and earth and water and wind. Whether you are throwing your axe or on the receiving end of an enemy spell, VFX is what really gives the movement and the danger to every move that a character or enemy makes. Oh, that thing I is going to really be sick to fight. with the design team and the tech art team on this project specifically. We actually work a lot with camera, along with the guidance of our great camera team. So I find myself doing fight choreography sometimes. One of the most nice. challenging parts about being a combat designer isn't the technical implementation of creating a creature, but it's really navigating that line between frustrating and engaging. We want to make something that makes players lean forward Yo, and focus what? and really try he hard hit there, to be honest. and feel good about and overcoming I went that, that tail. but we don't want to make them feel defeated if they can't figure hitbox? something out. And then it feels rewarding when you win, not because it was impossible, but because it was fun and engaging. Dude, killing enemies was super fun. It was one of those things where I didn't want to skip any enemy. I actually just wanted to engage with them and actually try out these new combos and new ways to, you know, defeat them. So hopefully they bring that more to life in this one. And it's not kind of just a copy paste, you know. After the last game, we've heard the community cry out for more mini bosses, bigger creatures and enemy variety. And this time we really leaned into that. So in God of War Ragnarok, you're going to be traveling to all nine realms, and each realm is going to have like its Sick. own theme of enemies that are very unique to that space. For example, in Alfheim, we're familiar with the Dark Elves, but this time around, oh, look we're at the shield, it's red now. Such as the Light Elf Warrior. One of the key learnings from the last God of War game is we don't have to think about the camera and how close combat is going to feel. We already have that knowledge, so we can build upon the close camera that we have. Cool. And we can iterate on enemies, creating more interesting scenarios. In the last game, Atreus was just starting to fight alongside Kratos, and he was learning from the oh, here we go. This is exactly so in this game, know. he's trying to prove himself a little bit more, and we built upon those mechanics with him. The previous God of War, Atreus was still a kid, right? So he has a lot of dependency on his father. And for this game, you will see Atreus moving more independently on his own as a companion. 
In regards to VFX for Kratos, I think what the players really love is the powerfulness of it. When you are playing as Kratos, you really do feel like the god of war. And moving into Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it oh, stronger, whoa. make it more of a spectacle. You want them to be like, oh my gosh, the reticle's I didn't different. know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. <laughs> So as Dope, Kratos gets more that's powerful, gonna be sick. you have access to newer combos and newer abilities that will increase the combat depth of each weapon. For the Blades, one of the moves that I've really enjoyed from previous God of Wars is the combat grapple, and we're going to be bringing that with a new twist. I'm very excited for players to try the Blade Grapple traversal moves. That brings so much more speed into the movement oh, he hits and the dynamic even, like... feel to it. It's One up. of the ways we've expanded Kratos' combat this time around is we've given more utility and choice to the shield loadout. If you yes, are that's a parry what we saw person, earlier. you could really go for a shield that gears towards parrying. If you're a big blocker, then you could choose a shield that will really match your playstyle. One new mechanic or element that I'm really excited about is these combo finishers. Building up the stun meter this time around is going to lead to different ways to basically decapitate the enemy. Yo, that was sick. Choose, Wait a minute. You know, different ways to basically decapitate Look at the enemy. Fatality. You're be able to choose, you know, which weapon you want to have when sick. you kill a guy. Another feature that we've added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attacks. So you could jump off a ledge, and if there's an enemy oh, that's gonna below be cool. you, you could slam down on him. There's such an emphasis on verticality in some of these fights that it's super engaging. And as Kratos, now that you have so much mobility and that you can also take advantage of that verticality, I think it just adds such another interesting layer to a fight. Yeah, that's definitely going to be fun. In God of War Ragnarok, we've enhanced the Kratos and Atreus duo. He's going to initiate a little bit more and be aggressive. He's going to fight alongside you and sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities, too. Some of the new expanded companion actions Whoa, is that, that a different weapon he's using? do leverage the fact that he's older now. He's bigger oh, now. Oh, no, it's the and bow still. he's different from Kratos, so his magic has a different flavor. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Not only that the fight side by side together, um, there are also a lot of mini games and you know player interaction moments. For example, like the puzzle systems and the set pieces, you definitely will see a lot more collaborations between father and son. Yo, they're back. Let's There's so much that goes go. into building a big set piece. You basically iterate Look at the and iterate and iterate, and it takes testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the personality. This game is going to be basically epic. Basically, every dude. department gives it their all to make things really spectacular. <laughs> There were a lot of different times that I would look back at God of War games just through the ages before 2018. There were so many amazing, huge boss fights and set pieces that it was a huge inspiration for me on my time on this project. For the old father! Our design Yo. philosophy for creating new and memorable enemies is basically making them a combat puzzle, similar to like chess and focusing on the chess pieces. Each piece has its own theme and its own use you need to be able to see what's happening in an instant and be able to react as the player. There's a couple of different ways that we go into making an attack very readable for the player. Sometimes we add a signature audio cue or we'll add the different rings, such as what we did in the last game that lets you know that this attack is unblockable, you need to dodge it. Nice. There's so many different ways that the effects really helps not just show what an enemy is about to do but show who the enemy really is and it's gonna be cool man because i'm gonna be playing on a new gen uh system so hopefully the graphics and everything looks amazing the i bet you it's gonna look vibrant i mean the first one looked very vibrant playing it on the ps5 so i can only imagine how this one's gonna be everything you design has to be surrounding the essence of the character in a story. It's what makes it believable and memorable in the first place. I think what I'm most excited about is for players to experience the diversity of enemies that this game has to offer. You will be fighting everything from small little creatures to things that will take up the entire screen. All of their designs run the gamut. I think each one looks so much different from the next one, and each of them have their own play styles and their own little fantasies that go into it. Oh, they're it. back. 
those and little so eye things. And so I think if you are really into Norse mythology, you'll be very interested to see how Sony Santa Monica has taken some of these creatures Sick. and interpreted them for God of War. Everything that goes into the game, there's emotion behind it and intent behind it. And by the time it gets to you, everything that you've seen that you're going to play and experience has been sweated over, bled over, tested, and it's fun to play. Awesome, man. Yeah, I'm really excited for this game to come out. You know, it's not too long away now. So, you know, it's going to be by the time we know it's going to be out and playable. So hopefully this game turns out to be what it is. And it's a continuation of the first one. Just more, more upgraded, more things that are happening with it and more dynamic as well. And it just doesn't feel like a copy paste. That would be really unfortunate. But I'm sure, you know, these guys have been working hard to make sure it doesn't feel that way. You know, especially then now we're going to be more vertical, like we said. That's something they brought up very often is making sure that, you know, there's going to be more play style, more ways to get to an enemy, more ways to get to an area. And hopefully it's not in just one single area that you're just, you know, climbing. Hopefully it's like throughout the entire world, especially since we're going to be kind of climbing all these nine realms. I'm sure there will be areas where we're kind of going straight, climbing something or getting trying to get to somewhere. So it's going to be cool. I hope Atreus as well isn't just kind of like what he was last time, you know, just keep pressing square and square. It was kind of fun at times, although sometimes it kind of like kind of wanted him to do more with things. You know, they tried to do with the summonings. So hopefully with this version of the game, um, they add more summonings, they add more mobility, they add more things to him. So he just doesn't feel like a you know, a drag. So hopefully it's a good one. And with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe. We need to get those subs up when with your help, we can definitely do so. And it's going to be amazing. And hopefully to see you guys when it comes out with that being said, peace.